Bachelorette is opening up about the drama on The Bachelor Canada. But first, Kesha is coming forward with shocking accusations against her music producer. We are who we are. Kesha claims her music producer, Dr. Luke, sexually, physically, verbally, and emotionally abused her for a decade. She's asking to get out of her current contract with him. The singer says the trouble began when she signed on with him at age 18. Kesha claims Dr. Luke would force her to use drugs and alcohol to remove her defenses, detailing one instance when he allegedly raped her. The first public signs of tension between the two surfaced when Kesha entered rehab for an eating disorder in January. Her mother blamed the producer for pressuring Kesha to lose weight. Dr. Luke quickly filed a countersuit yesterday, slamming Kesha and her mother for breach of contract and defamation. Funny gal Amy Poehler is opening up about a tough time in her life, her divorce from Will Arnett. City's Parks and Recreation star says, quote, getting a divorce really sucks. Poehler is speaking about the split for the first time in her upcoming memoir, Yes Please. In an excerpt obtained by Hello Magazine, Poehler says it's too sad and too painful to go into much detail about a breakup with Arnett. But she says, quote, I don't think a 10-year marriage constitutes a failure. Arnett filed for divorce from Poehler in April. Well, the Bachelor Canada returned to home turf this week, and an ex-Bachelorette returned, too. She opened up to us about her daring move. Hey, Tim. <laughs> I'm back. The moment I got home, I thought to myself, I don't think the journey is quite over for me, and I have some unanswered questions that I thought uh, Tim could help me to clarify if I were to return. But when it came time for the rose ceremony, Natalie was disappointed again. I came back to give him what he said he needed, and suddenly I'm going back home. I kind of uh, stopped having the feelings when um, I did return, and I could see there was just nothing left. There was nothing there, but it was good to get that closure. When you gather all of these beautiful women competing for the love of one guy, there's going to be drama. Mm -hmm. Who stirred it up the most for you? Definitely Lisa. She admitted to kind of being the mean girl. Natalie actually makes me want to vomit in my mouth. I think Trish and Tim would be the best match. She is definitely a very fun and outgoing girl who could bring Tim out of his shell. City's newest homegrown comedy series, Young Drunk Punk, is kicking off production in Calgary. Our Jill Bellin stopped by the set to chat with the cast. Tim Carlson joining me here playing Ian McKay and Young Drunk Punk. How are things going? Things are great. Uh, it's been really, really fun on set so far. You have to get a pan of your outfit because this is true to 1980, the year which uh, the story takes place. So what's it been like diving into 1980? It's been great. Uh, the, the costumes have been wild. What do you think audiences are going to like about this show? The kids are lost. They're trying to find their thing. They don't know what it is. You know, it's, it's my phrase, outsiders, there sure are a lot of us. So I think people who um, feel that way will enjoy the show. High fashion hits Toronto as some of Canada's biggest designers prepare to receive top honors. The nominees for the second Canadian Arts and Fashion Awards were announced in glamorous style last night. This world is, is one that I'm just kind of slowly being able to get into. So for me, it's amazing to be in the same room with, you know, the top designers within the country. The second annual CAFA Gala will take place in January in Toronto. Tomorrow on Entertainment City, we talk to the stars of the new romantic tearjerker, Best of Me. And remember, hit us up for all your entertainment headlines on Twitter at NCity.